Sometimes we can be overwhelmed with the headlines. I don't know what to do with all the brokenness in this world. I need to, and, and culture's telling you, go ahead and bury it, go ahead and escape from it, go ahead and deny it, do whatever you need to do to run away from the suffering and the brokenness in the world. And Jesus is drawn and attracted to brokenness because that's where he wants to write a redemptive narrative. So we as the church should not, should not be trying to run away from brokenness, but drawn to the brokenness because in broken places, there can be resurrections. There can be redemptive stories. So I think the cultural moment was, I came home from church one Sunday after communion in our little country church. We go ahead and celebrate communion every single Sunday. And um, just the realization of um, what Christ had done for me. I walked in after church and picked up the pen that I'd written out a thousand things I was grateful for. And um, and drew a cross on my wrist at the top of where the scars were from the cutting. I was naming myself a new name, <laughs> my new identity in Christ. And more than that, I was, I was giving shape and form to my life. I wanted to live crucified. That vertical beam of the cross, all of the gifts coming down from God, and all of my latitude rising up to God moment by moment. But then also those vertical beams of the cross, how do I live broken and giving my arms outstretched in a broken hearted world? So I think 